one of the most tenacious advocates of clean energy I know. Um, in my previous book, The Coming Energy Revolution, I wrote about Martin Berger's work with Nova, an ocean energy company that's now named Blue Energy Canada. Martin Berger came up from Oregon to be with us tonight. Martin? Technologies, yeah, the place is raining with them. I found uh, the Davis turbine and Blue Energy's aerospace finesse kit, and uh, there's no no brainer that the tides are there every day, and you know for the same. Uh, well, it first narrows here under the Lionsgate Bridge, eight knots translates to a wind force equivalent of two Hurricane Mitchells. You know, so 400 per hour wind speed, you know, density, energy densities, and stuff like that. All that stuff makes sense, but. But, but as I was trying to do the business planning and get the organizational development together, and it, I just had the, the, the observation, and it became evident that this, this thing was behaving quantumly. You know, this thing was quantum. And I, I started networking, and I had some mentors. Uh, Jean introduced me to uh, my good friend, Dr. Hazel Henderson. She introduced me to some more futurists, and I came to appreciate that people like John and Bill and uh, Schauberger, Tesla, all these people, they had the devices, they had the insights, they had the vision. Um, and so basically you could quantify the technology side of it, and capitalism, in spite of what's happened in the last little while, uh, it behaves like gravity, it's predictable, it will come to the opportunity if everything's right. But Hazel and her futurist friends were able to instill in me an appreciation for the fact that we're really in, a, in an infancy in consciousness, ourselves and in humanity. And we're at a critical juncture today, and I think of, there's optimism here today as well, but, but I really think you know, when you look at my background from the Cree tribe, I grew up with the Dene, and uh, there was a, a quantum integration in their consciousness. And our Western viewpoint is kind of linear in a material perspective. But I guess we can cut it short. The guy's cut me off here with time, but, but, but basically we've got six and a half billion units of consciousness firing into our shared experience called our future. And until that signal has a sufficient gravity, a quantum mass, we will not achieve or experience that future. Today is a product of that field of consciousness from a previous period. Okay, people like Gene Manning and Joel, um, they play in a, a very important role in this work. Gene's earlier book, The Coming Energy Revolution, I still get emails from people all around the world Oh, Blue Energy, and yeah, Gene Manning, you know, Energy Revolution. Uh, you have to have the possibility of a clean, harmonious future sufficiently etched and formulated in our minds before it's ever going to experience, we're ever going to experience it. And I've played the game in the corporate level, investment banking level, technology level, all those things. But when you have 10 pieces essential to do the thing, to make a difference, if, if you don't have that hundredth monkey on board, one of them will kick out, you know, you just try and force the last two together, oops, you lost three that you thought you had already had them together. So they'll behave quantumly until there's a maturation of possibility sufficiently formed. And these people are the ones that are carrying that burden. I can bring 450 technologies in my 25 years I've looked at. I've got a half a dozen here in the shirt pocket. How many do you want? There's lots of solutions here. But until people participate in something fundamental like energy, okay, we all walk in the house and flip on the switch, that's the end of the story. This is fundamental. And until you get off it and start participating, start getting informed, the internet is a wonderful, a wonderful resource and, and that ultimately I think when we look back at this period will be 
what made the difference. But it's the cutting edge work of pioneers in the consciousness of the possibility. These people did that job. Yeah. Yeah.